Hi everyone, I'm Bo Ming, a high school student from Princeton International School of Math and Science in New Jersey. It is my great honor today to present my project at the IM Sam Conference. I'm now going to introduce my project, a novel machine learning based approach for predicting molecular biological binding affinity. When it comes to the drug development, it first the first two things come to our mind is always the time consuming and high expenditure. It typically takes up to 30 years to develop a new drug. That's why drug repurposing, which uses existing approved drugs to kill some new virus, is an extraordinary strategy to shorten the time span to find a new curve. In my research, DTR, abrogation of drug target interaction, is an important concept. This process first screens the existing drug for better candidate for a new curve. The mechanism is to train a computational model to predict the binding affinity between a drug molecular and its target protein. Drugs with stronger binding affinity have greater probability to be effective on the disease. It can greatly reduce the time and financial cost. Current DTI models cannot attain high trustability and high prediction precision simultaneously. One example is a model using three-dimensional structure information for proteins and the molecules for binding for the prediction, such as automat and IC automat. However, in most of the database, 3D structure data are only available for a small fraction. And the low transferability is the main drawback of this kind of model. In this project, instead of using the 3D spatial structure, I propose to build a model architecture using one-dimensional drug and protein as input to do the prediction. The information underlying in the, in the protein sequence are defined by letters, which share a similar feature to typical study of nature language sentence. Based on this idea, we develop our own model, which used a com composite architecture employing CNN and LSTM to extract feature locally and globally together. The model uses molecular smell sequence and the protein amino acid sequence as input and performs regression on the strengths of binding. We developed and tested nine versions of the model, each with a different deep learning architecture. The best model consists of eight modules. It includes two embedding modules, two head modules, two ResNet based CN module, one bio-directional uh, module, and one uh, multi-layer presumption module. The reason of using LSTM module here because the difference between the length of binding embedding output. In this model, we are using MultiVec for the molecular embedding and ProIC for the protein embedding. The molecular embedding length is two 300 dimensions and the protein is 6162 dimensions. If I direct, directly concrete these two, the length of difference may cause the unbalance of the weight. In order to solve this kind of problem, I choose to use a bell directional LSTM to extract features globally. To test the model's performance, I select data from BindingDB dataset, which offered me about 18,000 molecules bind with 2,000 proteins, about 36,000 data in total after data cleaning. The figure shows that the distribution of the input smells, sequence length, and the PKI values, and all these three values are balanced. On the BindingDB dataset, I trained the model for 1,000 epochs and the learning stopped at about 699 epochs. So I select this as the final version of the model. The model's performance is shown in the pairing plot here. The plot shows that models have a very high efficiency in predicting the value in the range of negative 4 to negative 2. And the prediction might be slightly higher when the two PK value is smaller than negative 6 and slightly, slightly lower if the KPK value is larger than zero. I believe this kind of error is caused by those recording include some whole values, such as some people may choose to write 0 0.001 or 1000 to represent one strong binding, one just no binding. And all those values may confuse the model when predicting the extreme values. The model's performance is also compared with state-of-art deep CDN model. From here, we can see the performance of model is very good. It is competitive and even slightly better than deep CTA model on MSC value. In the future, I would like to compare the model with some other current methods, such as deep purpose and deep DTA. And I will try more database, 
such as KIBA database and Davis dataset, to further test the ability of the generalization. The performance of the model can also be evaluated in specific real-life situations, such as COVID-19 virus datasets. If necessary, the model can also convert to a classification model during the testing. Besides, I will op optimize the model's embedding and adjust the hyperparameters to help the performance to be better. Thank you for listening.